Sergey, do you see this action by the United States, EU, and its uh, allies, do you see this as an act of war? Uh, to a certain extent, yes, uh, but we may say that it is, this is a hybrid war, and it was not the United States or the EU which started uh, the war. Russia has started the war against the civilization, against the 21st century, against the whole world, and Vladimir Putin is ready to demonstrate his nukes for the whole world, saying, I'm ready to do it, and you will see consequences that you have never seen in your previous life. So it was Russia who launched this war, and uh, Putin was happy to run a hybrid war against Ukraine for eight years. Now he is ready to fight uh, the same hybrid war, information war, cyber war with the United States. So it's, it's uh, a significant response is finally the United States and the West in general has, have recognized that it's not a joke. Yeah, Putin, Putin was fighting against the West for many years, for many months, with different uh, operations. And uh, the West was looking, okay, it's, it's, it's not as serious. No, it's much more than serious. So I understand that that mm. is one of the responses from the West in this hybrid war. Yes, it is. Because if, if Russia wants to use the instruments of the current civilization, if Russia wants to use instruments of the globalized economy, the globalized world, the US dollar, the euro, the British legal system, American legal system, European legal system, okay, Russia should behave itself according to the rules. If Russia doesn't want it, okay, Indeed. Russia Indeed. may leave Western civilization. Indeed, Sergei, and that's what has investors globally so concerned right now. Let's talk about what's happening right now. What options does the central bank have to prevent the run on the ruble that we're seeing as we speak and a likely collapse in equity markets when trading gets underway today, if perhaps it does get underway later today? Uh, first of all, I, I, I don't, I'm not worried at all about rubles. Yeah, Central Bank of Russia will provide any liquidity to major banks to provide to pay uh, depositors who would like to withdraw their ruble deposits from banks. So it's not an issue. And from the crisis of 2008, 2014, it is well known if banks are able to supply uh, banknotes to their ATMs machine for a couple of days, the panic, the demand for cash rubles will disappear. So I don't, I, I do not envisage any significant, uh, if any, problems with cash rubles with banknotes. Uh, as well, I, it will be very interesting to see what is going on on the equity market. Because, uh, as, as you may know, this night uh, the letter from the central bank appeared, which prohibited uh, any non-resident to sell stocks and bonds in the Russian market. Yeah, and but uh, the capital outflow of non-residents was one of the major uh, reasons for the collapse of the Russian stock market. For example, if we take the major Russian banks, Sberbank, 50% uh, is owned by the government. 45% is owned by non-residents and 5% is owned by Russian residents. So, of course, in this situation, even the sale of 2, 3, 5% of the stakes of these shares by non-residents meet no demand because nobody in Russia wants to purchase Sberbank even in the better time and not say now. Yeah, and if 